Incoming Deputy Secretary Võ Công Trí visits Support Center for Education Development and Integration. Municipal People's Committee Chairman receives Argentine Ambassadors to Vietnam. Lab Moon Program with Children Patients. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. The government has recently held a regular monthly meeting chaired by Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc. The meeting has focused on evaluating the activities in the third quarter of 2017 and the overall social economic development achieved since the beginning of the year. While the growth rate was only at 5.15% in quarter 1 and at 6.28% in quarter 2, the country's economy has grown remarkably in July, August and most profound in September, mainly driven by growth in services and agriculture sectors. Especially, high-tech agricultural production with high export turnover, processing and manufacturing industries, services, retail and tourism have raised economic growth to 7.46% in quarter three. Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc has reminded all levels, branches and localities not to be distracted and reckless in order to overcome existing obstacles to determinedly and comprehensively over accomplish the targets of 2017 plan. Also at the government's regular meeting, with the effort in administrative reforms and investment environment improvement, the ministries, agencies and localities have cut more than 5,000 administrative procedures to create more favorable conditions for production and business, whereby contributing to raising the Vietnam's competitive index. According to the recent World Economic Forum's assessment, Vietnam has jumped five notches in competitiveness index and compared to five years ago, Vietnam has climbed up to 20 notches in this index. On October the fourth morning, Standing Deputy Secretary of the City Party Committee, Võ Công Chí, visited and resented gifts to children at the Da Nang Support Center for Education Development and Integration on the occasion of the Mid-Autumn Festival. At the center, Standing Deputy Secretary Chí met and presented gifts to students and wished them a happy and joyful Mid-Autumn season, just like the other children at their same age. The Standing Deputy Secretary expressed his hope that they will study well and be good children to be able to integrate into the community in the future. He also encouraged teachers at the center to pay more effort to help these children overcome difficulties. Reportedly, the Support Center for Education Development and Integration currently has 214 students in 23 classes from kindergarten to primary levels. The center teaches not only general knowledge but also life skills and vocational skills for students. Over the past years, many students in the center have been integrated into the community and had a stable life. On October the 3rd afternoon, Chairman of the City People's Committee, Huynh Đức Thơ, hosted a working reception for Mr. Juan Carlos Van Rally, Ambassador of the Republic of Argentina to Vietnam. At the meeting, Chairman of the City People's Committee, Huynh Đức Thơ, said that currently relevant departments and agencies are urgently accelerating the final preparations for the APEC Economic Leaders Week. Chairman Huynh Đức Thơ expressed his desire that the Argentine ambassador would facilitate the close cooperation between the businesses of the two sides, thereby strengthening the connection and promoting the bilateral cooperation in many fields, such as investment, economy, commerce and education. Mr. Juan Carlos Van Rele congratulated the city on being selected to hold the APEC Economic Leaders Week, which will be a good chance to promote Da Nang's image to the international friends. The Argentine ambassador also expressed his strong desire to deepen the relationship with the city government, especially in the fields of investment and education. Also on October the 3rd afternoon, Municipal People's Committee Chairman Huynh Đức Thơ chaired a meeting on reviewing the proposal of restructuring and renovating the organization and operation of public administrative agencies under the management of the People's Committee in the 2017-2020 period. 
According to the Department of Home Affairs report in 1997, the city had 285 public administrative agencies with 9,353 staff. In 2017, the number increased to 409 agencies and more than 22,000 staff. The agencies are running mainly by the state budget. Implementing the principle of streamlining the organizational structure, cutting manpower, increasing socialization and equitization of public administrative agencies, the City Department of Home Affairs formulated the draft proposal of restructuring and renovating the organization and operation of public administrative agencies under the management of the City People's Committee in the 2017-2020 period. The timeline of the scheme suggested that by 2020, the City would try to deduct 21 agencies and at least 2,000 staff, transferring about $200 billion per year from the regular state budget expenditure to the revenue of the agencies. On October the third afternoon, the Hoa Vang District announced the establishment decision and launched the Vietnam-Cambodia Friendship Sub-Association in Hoa Vang District. Accordingly, the executive board of the sub-association has 17 members. The sub-association works for the purposes of building, consolidating and enhancing the friendship, cooperation and mutual understanding between the two peoples, as well as mobilizing and encouraging the establishment of Cambodian volunteer liaison committees in the communes. The unit also aims at enhancing the quality of the people-to-people -people diplomacy of the party and state, strengthening the communications and popularization of the party and state's policies and guidelines on the Vietnam-Cambodia relations to all the residents in the city in general and Hoa Vang district in particular, whereby contributing to tightening the Vietnam-Cambodia bilateral friendship. Improving knowledge of intellectual property and competition law for the startups in the city is one of the activities within the framework of the Interdisciplinary Legal Aid Program in the period of 2015-2020, organized by the City Department of Justice. In Da Nang, most of the enterprises are micro and small size ones. Therefore, it is difficult for the legal departments to help business owners doing business under the legal framework. Consequently, it is very important to convey the contents related to the legal aid programs to enterprises, as well as learning more about the difficulties, obstacles in the law enforcement of enterprises. From now until the end of this year, the City Department of Justice will coordinate with the business associations and unions to organize the training courses on professional activities to help businesses raise their awareness and compliance with law, limit the legal risks, and create favorable conditions for enterprises to develop and call for investment. On October the third afternoon, more than 800 children patients treated at the Da Nang Hospital for Women and Children together welcomed the Mid-Autumn Festival in the exciting atmosphere of the program themed Love Moon. Love Moon is a special program for children who are struggling with illness. This is a practical and meaningful activity aimed at bringing joy and smile to children in the festival of childhood. For the purpose of bringing joy and easing the pain for children treated in the hospital, on this occasion, many organizations and individuals presented many gifts worth over $300 million in total to children. The program themed Love Moon contributed to bringing warm smiles to children, encouraging them to overcome the illness. That's all for today's news. Please log on to dat.nang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.